Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Tiny Blue Games. My name, of course, is Seesaw Chris, and today we're talking about Overwatch. Specifically, we're going to be talking about some of the things us casual players can do to prepare for our placement games for Season 5 of Overwatch. However, before we get started, if you're new to this channel, welcome. We do videos on Overwatch and other games from a more casual perspective for people who have real lives and just play these games in their spare time and who would like to also watch about these games in their spare time. I think a lot of us can relate to that. So if you do, please feel free to like this video and subscribe for more content like this. But that's enough about us, let's get into the video. So as many of us know, the Season 4 has ended and there was a two-day break before Season 5, which should start tomorrow depending on when I release this video. And that's a very small gap between two seasons, which means it's very likely that people are going to stay quite fresh coming out of Season 4, moving into Season 5. But there are some ways that you can sort of prepare yourself a bit more, especially if you're not on every day, uh, to really get yourself in the mood to play those match uh, placement matches at the start of the next season. So there are two very specific ways I suggest you use this time, and we'll just get right into the first one that I think is the most important, and that's to make sure that you play your main heroes. And I mean, that sounds like an obvious thing, but it's kind of true. When the season's off, we're like, yay, we get to relax, we get to do whatever the hell we want. I mean, we're kind of treating Overwatch like a job in that sense, but some people do, and it's it's very true. You kind of have to stay on the hero that you play. Um, and that doesn't mean you have to play every game on your specific main hero. Uh, you just have to do it a few times a day just to keep fresh on that hero, keep, keep very tight on that hero. And I mean, you don't always have to play competitive either. You can play that hero in quick play. You can play it in uh, any arena game, the new elimination on those new maps. It's a lot of fun. But just make sure you play on the heroes that you're going to be playing at the start of Season 5. Don't go around and play people that you never play just because it's fun and then come to Season 5 and be rusty on the people that you're going to for sure be playing. Just toss in a few games on that Soldier 76 if that's who you play or on... Uh, junk rat or if you play <laughs> if you main junk rat make sure you get on that junk rat but you know wh whatever your hero is make sure you get a few games on that person each day just to really hone it in now i mentioned that you should make sure you play a few games on this main hero each day but you don't need to spend your entire time on it in fact my next thing I'm going to suggest is quite the opposite of what the first one was, and that's to make sure you start playing some of the characters, or heroes rather, that you wanted to play, that you know are very important to winning games, and that you've just not felt comfortable enough to go into on competitive mode. Uh, this is the perfect time to start really learning those heroes and learning how to play well with them. You know, spend a lot of your day just having fun on a new hero that you've wanted to be able to bring to your competitive gameplay but haven't yet. And try and get that hero ready for Season 5. And then in between that, just play some on your main to keep yourself, you know, fresh on the person you're likely going to do your placement matches on. But it's good to broaden your skill set to be able to bring a lot more to whichever team you're put on at the start. In addition to what heroes you're playing, it's very important to look at which types of gameplay you're playing. Now I said you can play quick play, competitive, or arena, what have you. You know, spend your time to whatever you want, but just make sure you play a few games on more realistic matches. You know, make sure you're doing a bit of escort, uh, a bit of control points. Like make sure you're getting a good mix of what you're actually going to be seeing in along with, you know, maybe you like to play elimination or capture the flag or whatever. You know, play those as much as you want. They're a lot of fun. It's just that's the, a lot of the things you use in those game modes aren't actually going to be as applicable to the games you're going to be playing at the start of the season. So try and hone your skills in a bit more on Escort and uh, Capture Point or whatever it is to really make sure you're ready to go when the season starts. The final piece of advice is actually about the placement matches themselves. Now, for those of you who haven't done the placement matches, and I'm sure most of you have already done some of the other seasons of Overwatch, so you know well about this, but if this is your first season of competitive play, these are very high-pressure, high-stress matches, and if there was ever to be a toxic group or toxic people, this is where it's going to happen, because a lot rides on how these matches turn out. So if you start your placement matches right when everyone else does, there's going to be a lot of pressure on you and everyone else. And things can easily get carried away in terms of team chat and how well people work together. So it's very important to go in with a very positive mind frame, 
go into each match knowing that everyone there is trying to win. No one's not trying to win. Why would anyone want to throw? I mean, you might think someone's trying to throw, but that no, almost no one, if you just queue into a placement match, is probably going to try to throw. So go in knowing that everyone's on the same team and try and stay positive. Try to keep everyone happy throughout the game mode. If that's impossible and like worst case scenario, just stay silent, you know, just hide your chat or whatever. Don't look at your chat. Um, just stay focused on your own gameplay if that's how it has to be, but try and stay positive and play, you know, to the best of your abilities. Then finally, if you are having some bad luck and having a few losses, take a break for a second. Don't go into the next game all salty about the last one and ready to, you know, just get mad at your teammates right away. Try and refresh yourself and be ready in terms of your mental mindset before you enter the game. All right, so I think that wraps up pretty much everything I wanted to say in this video. I hope you guys have good luck in your placement matches, and I'm sure I'll be posting some videos of my own placement matches and how well they went. Uh, so if you do like this content, some more casual gameplay, casual guides or whatever, uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you could. That would mean the world to me. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.